You know, it's an incredible fact that it was Australian trade unions that won the right for an eight-hour working day. When do you think this was? 1920s, 1930s? No, it was in 1855. And we're here in Sydney's Chinatown to have a look at a fabulous collection of banners here at the Trades Hall. Now, the stonemasons were the first craft to win the right for an eight-hour day, and they were inextricably linked with the Freemasons. Eight hours shalt thou work and no more. How Australian is that? They just wanted a fair go. Now, here we've got the symbol of Australia, and it's subtly different. We've got the emu and the kangaroo facing out the way, and of course, neither of these creatures have got a reverse gear. The symbolism is clear. It's to spread the trade union movement around the world. And what was their philosophy? Eight, eight, eight. Eight hours work, eight hours recreation, and eight hours rest. What a fantastic concept. The Trades Hall contained hundreds of different trade union bodies. Each one wanted to be represented here under one roof, and lots of their memorabilia remain to this day. The early marching banners often depicted women leading the workers off to some kind of utopian paradise, whereas later on, individual skills were depicted. Here we have the machinery they used every day, and we've got the women sewing up here, the guys making boots. The early banners were made of silk and rubber, but later on, canvas became the material of choice. Edgar Whitbread had an amazing career. He painted for over 60 years these huge banners, often working on two or three banners at the same time. He also employed a seamstress to do all the sewing work. But I think it's fair to say there was no Michelangelo, but his painting has a sort of naive charm. Interestingly, he also knew which side his bread was butter, because down here, M. Connington, who's a local trade union secretary, each winter it's president. You know, these banners for me symbolize the efforts for social change and, of course, better working conditions, because the average working day used to be 12 hours and more for men, women, and children. So an eight-hour day was of huge significance.